Hello students, in this video we are going to learn uh, sex determination in humans, that is uh, how the sex of the child is determined. So in human being, uh, the determination of sex is XY type, uh, that is uh, human sex determination is XY type and as we know that uh, human beings have total 23 set of chromosomes. 23 set of chromosomes out of which 22 are autosomes and the 23rd okay or you can say uh, one set one set is sex chromosome okay so out of the 23 set 22 are autosomes and one set, one set is the sex chromosome and this uh, one set which determine the sex of, uh, sex of a child or human being is XY type, right? That is uh, the male, this one set, a uh, male contains XY whereas in female it is X and X. As we know that uh, chromosomes are always in pair, so this pair in male it is XY and in female it is X and X. And this XY, I mean the male, is responsible for the determination of sex of a child. So now we will work out how uh, this can be determined or how uh, a baby uh, is either a male or a female. Okay? With a cross, we shall uh, work it out. So here, uh, suppose uh, the mother, which is a female, and the father, which is a male. So mother will have X and X, and father will have X and Y. And we know that uh, for reproduction, uh, the fusion of gametes takes place, and gametes are haploid. So it means the gamut will have only 23 numbers. Remember, not set. Okay. If we, if I talk about number, then total it will be 46 in the cell, which is called diploid. The mother cell. Okay. The mother cell, which has 46 number of chromosome, it will undergo meiosis cell division. And after division, there will be 23 numbers in each of the gamut. Okay, gamut will have 23 number of chromosome, which is haploid. Right? So, in case of male, uh, during the time of gamut formation, it will, the gamut will have either X or Y. Right? As out of the set, this set will segregate or it will separate. So, uh, it will be either X and Y. That is 50% will be X and 50% will be Y. But in case of mother, which is a female, as I mentioned, the sex chromosome uh, of the female is same. It is homogamet. Okay? It is same. So, it will be X and X. So, the gamut will always be X. Right? Gamut means the egg. The gamete, which is the egg, will always be X, whereas in case of male, it will be either X and Y. So during uh, fusion, when uh, an X, I mean the egg, when this egg is fertilized by the sperm carrying X chromosome, it will be X and X, which is diploid. Right? And it, what it will be? It will be a female. Or you can say it will be a girl. Right? Similarly, when the egg which will have the X chromosome is fertilized by Y, then it will be X and Y which will be a boy or a male. Right? So this is how uh, the sex is determined in humans. That is, what type? X, Y, uh, that we call it as X, 
by time. Okay. So as this determines whether the child will be a boy or a girl. So such type of sex determination we call it as male heterogeneity. Okay. We have a term called male heterogeneity. Male heterogeneity as the male is heterogeneous. Heterogeneous means the set of chromosome is dissimilar. They are not same. Whereas in case of female, it is same. It is X and X. I mean the set is same. X and X. So during gamete formation also, even if the chromosome are separated, it will have only one type of chromosome that is X chromosome. Right? So uh, this is uh, how the sex is determined. So with this I end my explanation. So I hope to see you in my next video.